Good day. If you've got WordPress running on IIS, on a Windows server, uh, you may find that it is very difficult, in fact, to increase this size limit uh, from 2 meg to whatever you would like for the media library. So while everything else may be working, if you try to upload a large file, it might blow up. Or blow up as in you'll get an error message or it just won't work. Let's give you a couple examples and then we'll show you how to fix it. So I've got a 22 meg file I need to upload. I'm just going to drag it into here like it says and it's going to say it's beyond the maximum file size. So you may think to yourself, well, I'm going to go do the research on this and make changes to PHP I and I and a whole bunch of other things and not get anywhere, then you're going to give up. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of those solutions, by the way, that I've read. Uh, then you're going to give up and you'll go to plugins. And you think, the hell with it, I'm just going to get this done. I'm going to add new and I will go to file size upload and I will find a dozen of these little utilities. Let's pick the most popular one here with 30,000. Do the install, it takes a few seconds. By the way, this isn't going to work. I just want to show it to you uh, because it is valuable. Uh, so you click on that, then click activate. And then you go over to its settings. There it is. And you say, great, I want to change this now to, come on, 64 meg, roughly. So I'm going to click save changes on that. Now I'm going to go to media and add new, pretty typical stuff. And I'm going to say, oh, wonderful, now it says 61 meg. I'm going to drag on that file, and it's going to get to the end and come up with HTTP error. And then I'm going to get mad and try to punch the screen. If you try using the browser uploader, you will get um, an even more annoying message, which is nothing. What will happen is the file will apparently upload, but then nothing much will happen. So really annoying. So anyway, here's the solution that I've uh, worked out uh, after reading a million blogs. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of that plugin because it's pointless. Uh, so let's see here, maximum upsize, de deactivate. Come on, come on, come on, deactivate. Gone, delete because it's pointless. Don't need, don't need extra junk in there. You don't need junk in there. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, server and I'm going to go to where PHP is installed. Now, you may think, oh, I already read things like this. No, you didn't. You probably read things that were directed at people that have WordPress installed on, uh, you know, shared installations like a GoDaddy installation or, you know, some sort of hosting service. If you're running it yourself, it's not the same place. It's not the same thing. So um, what you want to do is go into your program files x86, then into PHP, then into V, uh, whatever it is for you. My case is 5.6 and search for php.ini. Now, before you screw with the PHP INI, always cover it. So I just drag it over with the right mouse button, select copy here. Since you want to make a copy, I say yes. I always rename these default things to factory, so I know what they are. You can rename yours to whatever you'd like. But this way, I've got a nice copy, so I can't blow it up. Now, um, uh, you can't edit this file because it's in a restricted folder. So what you need to do is Used, in my case, I just use the right mouse button, drag it out, copy it, and now you can edit it nicely. So what you want to look for is uploads, and there it is. Scroll down, and here you will see probably what's making you crazy. The upload maximum file size is set to 2 meg. I'm going to change that to 60. Now you think you're done, and if you uh, close this and move on, you will find that it will get closed, but it won't actually work. What you also need to do is add a line in that says post maximum size, max size equals whatever size you'd like. In my case, 60 meg is what I would like. Then click file, save the thing, close it. Now that saved the one on my desktop, which doesn't do me very much good. Here I need to get it into the PHP folder. So I'm going to copy that, replace it. Now, yes, by the way, yes, you could just change the permissions on this PHP INI. I'm not screwing with the permissions. I want it as locked down as possible but you do whatever you feel like doing. So I'll go through the extra step of copying it and working it, uh, working on it from the desktop. Okay, now I'm just gonna do an IIS reset. Yes, you must do this or it won't work. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, there it is. Okay, it's back. Now go to your media, add new. And it says 60 meg and take a look. Now I can upload my file. 
without error. Isn't that spanky? So it's there. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.